Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Today I'm going to be talking about the monster and the treasure spawn that just came out. Alright, so getting on with Blur, um, Edward and Al Alric, I think, I can't say his name, Alphonse, something like that. Um, the brotherly bond between these two. This monster is mainly for its art more than it is for anything, because I checked its abilities. And overall, looking at its abilities, I'd say it's, it's about as strong as your average 32 or 33 cost monster. Um, back in the day, this probably, like, not even, like, way back in the day, I'm talking, like, 2017, late 2017, early 2018, or somewhere near that, I have no clue. I haven't played this game in 2017 at all, I've only been able to play it in 2018, so I wouldn't be sure. This monster is around, it's good, I'm not gonna say it's very good, it's OP, it's, 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 it's good. It's good. That's as far as I can go. And if you're not just smart, but you're Kmart smart, I don't think any of us would waste our orbs on something that's not even OP, let alone will give like a lot of stats for awakening. There's literally 34 cost monsters that will give more awakening increase in stats than this monster. So not worth going for, especially since orbs are really hard to get. And same for 35 cost monsters that this game hasn't noticed. So overall, I would say this isn't a crappy monster. No way this is a crappy monster. This monster's pretty good, but um it's not like top tier, it's not strong, it's not up there, and it's it's gonna be your average 32 or 33 cost monster good. That's how good this monster is around. It casts Kismet. Kismet flips um debuffs into buffs for all allies, increases water fire, pretty much increases all element attack if you don't know what that is, if you're unsure, does it right here, it shows it right here. This is really only going to be useful in certain, like, events and missions. And considering that those missions are going to be extreme, if you have to use element attack in these missions, they're pretty much telling you how hard it's going to be. And pretty much them telling you how hard it's going to be, this monster is not going to be useful in those. It's really not going to be. So there's no point in really even having it unless you're trying to get that slight edge. Um, other than that, there's really no use in it. It does, though, increase use and gauge gains of all allies by 3 for 60 seconds. Very good. This is a very good ability. You're always going to want something that has this. Unison makes the world go round in this game. And it removes buffs from all enemies. This can be good. Um, there's better ways of handling it. But for the most part, this is a good ability because monsters like to buff themselves, especially in the game. And then sadly, it only applies the awakening standby mode to yourself, not everybody, and it's standby mode. I'm used, to, personally myself, since I have Aquarius, I'm used to instant awakening, or maybe you have Gremory, the summer Gremory, so you're used to instant awakening too if somebody else has awakening as well for one of their monsters, like a cast awakening. But this one only has awakening standby mode, and on top of it, it's only for your character. Like, I'm, I'm looking at like some, like, let me go back to like, I think one of the dark monsters I have. Hold on. Even like, where is she at? This one, Emogus. Even Emogus doesn't do like, even if it's only for your character, she only casts Awakening for your character, she damages you for 40% of your current HP, so even she doesn't have Awakening Standby Mode. You get what I'm saying? Like, I understand it's for your character, but they, they don't even have something to make it activate instantly, If it even though it's only for a character. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that Awakening thing. It is a good monster, I'm not gonna lie, but it's around as average as your 32 or 33 cost average monster, so just keep that in mind. It's good, it's above decent, it's good, it's not very good or anything, anything, anything like that, so just keep that in mind. Um, for the spawn, they only added the monster and there's not really any really option to get it from the gear spawn. Even though they say it's in the gear spawn, it's not gonna happen, it's pretty much mythical. Um, for the jackpot though, interesting enough they add it even though they probably have a low chance. They have the SSR collab guarantee ticket for one of the jackpot rewards. Awesome, um, even though you're probably not going to get it. The most likely thing you're going to get is Treasure Metal 700, and I'll talk about that in a second. There's the Elric Brothers for the summoning scroll, they're going to have that. Interesting enough, this might be a typo. But it seems in one of the chests, they either offer like a full droplet of ether, or I mean, not droplet, but a full drop of ether or an awakening orb. I hope that's true, because if you guys do the spawn, then that means you're going to be getting something good from it. 
you could get a 26 cost higher SSR gear. They should do this for all spawns, by the way. Um, actually make it 27, because 32s are going to be running out since you came out with 36 armor. Um, <laughs> or an SSR collab character ticket? Whoa, okay. Um, <laughs> so they offer some really um, randomly unique stuff in the treasure box contents. Even though you're probably likely to get the 26 or higher SSR gear, they offer the collab ticket through one of the random boxes. On top of it, they have uh, 600 medals in total for 5 and 6. Then you get a super XP or XP quest key. And the last one. Very interesting they have that in here. And there's pretty much no reason to even look through here anymore because they don't offer like anything featured besides the monster. Now what I don't agree with is the fact that they have the collab gear take guarantee ticket at 4k medals because in the previous spawns when like first save the seven deadly sins when they had that out and they were doing these treasure spawns not even the ticket when you're doing the ticket you're getting something random they had the weapons in here like in this in the metal exchange and it was cheaper than 4k so i'm i'm I personally myself i'm against that that they have the ticket in here which makes the weapon random for a higher cost of metals than they would regularly though they have some good stuff in here they have the chief fire stuff the chief fire stuff helps with the it's pretty much what the regular testaments do plus increase five costs if you want to take a look and pause it you can physical magical damage increase heal amount of hp healed stuff like that then they have the sporty cat stuff or the cat armor this stuff is very good for highly increasing damage. The Fatal Testament is one of the best um, damaging skills in the game. Though it's not exactly consistent. So if you can find a consistent um, damaging uh, proc in the game, I'd go for that instead. But overall, Fatal Testament is very powerful to increase your damage. Then they got this um, bow right here. It goes up to 32 costs as an SSR. A has a chance to ignore 50% of the targets defense and magic defense so that is very good they have a relic right here very good they help increase the target of the maximum HP oh no it casts a continuous heal my bad it doesn't um have the max HP I was thinking of something else but it's still a very good ability and then if you're looking for reflection, reflection is very useful whether you're doing Colosseum, you're doing guild battles, or you're doing anything that's player versus player wise. Having just regular reflection as a skill is very useful. If you're dealing with berserkers, this can be the death of berserkers. Literally, this can be the death of berserkers. So if you have a lot of these or are you missing some of these, I definitely get some of these. They reduce physical and magical damage in one. They're reflections. Not physical, not magical reflections, but reflections. So. If you can't get those, I recommend getting those. But the medals, they don't offer a lot of medals, so be aware of that as well. And it's 32 cost, so it's going to be a little behind. And they will eventually come up with better versions of the Reflection Armor. But that being said, I hope this helped out. Um, would I go for the spawn myself? Mm, I, wouldn't, I might, but only for like the weapon itself. And to see if I can get an Awakening Orb. I would only spawn this a couple times to be fairly honest. Possibly go for the um either the bow right here for my archer or maybe the lance. That's literally it. But it's because it helps me. It really helps me. I need more. I'm actually myself. If it doesn't really help you, then don't go for it. I still have 30 cost lances that pretty much do the same thing. So if I could replace those with those, it will help with my gear score a lot. With that being said, I hope this helped out, and I will see you in the next video. This is the Azrath. I'm out. Peace.